So welcome to your 25th Visual Basic tutorial and this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use functions and what a function is is it's pretty much the same as a sub except it can hold a value and you'll see what I mean by that in a moment so what we're going to do is just put a button and this form is basically going to do the same thing as it, does, as it did in the previous tutorial so just change the text of that button to um, start function change the text of the form to functions and there you go that's our form set up so I double click on the button and again like on the subs we're not going to be working inside of this button one click event for now we're going to be above it so here we're going to declare a variable so I do dim and then um, message text as string and say it's equal to um, you just used a function so like that and then on the next we're just going to put a gap in between there and on the next line we're going to actually start the function so what we're going to do is private and what a private is is this basically means it is only available to this sub to use uh, to this class sorry any other class can't use it so if it were public then every single class can use it they can use it however they want so that's what private and, and public are so for private and then function and then you just put the name of the function so I'm gonna put this as show message open bracket close bracket and then it should put end function automatically and in here we're just gonna put return and then we put message text so that's our function there. so basically this is going to uh, it's kinda like think of it this way it's going to announce whatever message text is so you just use a function and then this button can say oh you just said you just use a function I'm gonna remember that now and I'm gonna put that in a message box so that's what we're gonna do now so in the button one click we're gonna do message box dot show put the brackets and in quotation uh, press insert there if that ever happens by the way where you get this block thing and it's really annoying just press insert on the keyboard and we don't actually need those quotation marks my mistake so here you just put show message and it's capital M and then afterwards we're going to do open bracket close bracket so you've got brackets inside a, inside a bracket basically so now that's all we need to do so run this press the button you just use the function which we did and it worked so thank you for watching this tutorial don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial.